Spring is finally here, so it's the perfect time to refresh my items I carry every day for the warmer weather. A low profile wallet, new cell phone, thoughts on a solution for my keys, some fidget toys, and socks. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of an odd collection. Hi, I'm David, and this is my Spring 2017 Everyday Carry Collection. During the spring weather, our jackets disappear and we're only left with our pant pockets to hold all our stuff. And while some people might shun the fact that I keep my wallet in my front pockets, this means I need to transition to a much slimmer wallet than my usual everyday one. Thanks to Bellroy, I've been looking at their card sleeve and card pocket products as my spring and summer wallet. My favorite between the two is definitely the card sleeve. A super simple design that fits my frequently used cards on either side of the sleeve, perfect to quickly access my subway pass and credit card. And then for the rest of my cards and cash, I insert it into the middle slot. This pull tab is used to retract any items you might need to store in the middle pocket, and all of this is done in the smallest, thinnest footprint, and still feels well built and premium that even makes me forget that I'm carrying it sometimes. But if you want to carry keys or coins, you could also look at the Bellroy card pocket that uses a zipper to securely hold all the stuff. And while there are two pockets inside to organize your cards, cash, and even a SIM card, I often find my stuff pretty disorganized in here. The zipper gets stuck sometimes on stuff inside, and it's thin but still thicker than sleeve. So that's why I chose the Bellroy card sleeve as my spring wallet. For my cell phone, I've been trying out the new Motorola G5 Plus, and I think it's a really solid phone for the budget price point. What I really like most about the G5 Plus is the decent battery life that easily gets me through a day of usage. The fingerprint reader is quick and on the front of the phone, making it easy to unlock even without picking up the phone. The build quality feels decent, mixing metals and plastic into the design. And of course the price tag of $229 or $299 US dollars, depending on which version you get, is fairly affordable. But being a budget phone, there are definitely some compromises. The main faults I have with the phone are the physical size due to the large bezels around the screen. The camera is decent in daylight and is snappy with the wide 1.7 aperture, but the image processing keeps the camera from being great, especially in low light photography, where it's just average at best compared to flagship phones. And the final issue I have are OS updates. While I enjoy the close to stock Android OS loaded on the phone, it's already behind on OS updates by still only being on the January Android security update. But at a budget price point, these are minor compromises that still make this a solid phone for most people's needs. Between solving my Rubik's Cube and spinning my pens, the trendy new fidget toy for this spring are fidget spinners and cubes. While they're a bit of a novelty and probably more of a distraction than an aid to my concentration, I find them quite fun to fiddle with. The three-sided spinners can be had for relatively cheap and feel nicely balanced. The torque bar clones have a more portable and premium metal design, but feel a little less balanced and stable than the three-sided spinners. And the cube is satisfying as you click all the buttons and switches, but definitely annoying to anyone nearby to hear. As these products have gotten really popular, the prices have dropped to around $5 to $10, so it was worth purchasing one just for fun. And there's something therapeutic about playing with one. Next is another weird one. In the spring, I like to walk or hike around the city. All that walking can be hard on the feet, so having good socks is a must. One of the most popular socks are darn tough socks, made from a fine merino wool material. And from my experience, they're pretty much the most comfortable socks I've ever worn. No blisters on long hikes, they do well to wick away the sweat from my feet, and I've had these for about a year now putting them through the paces, and they still look practically brand new. While they're a little pricey for socks, they'll probably last me a lifetime with a warranty, so they're worth the investment to keep my feet happy. And finally my keys. I mentioned in my last EDC video that I was looking for a solution for my keys, and I got a lot of suggestions to take a look at the Orbit keys. A pretty simple concept of screwing all your keys together in a single leather band to keep it all clean and organized. I think it looks nice, but at $40, I'm still hesitating to pick one up. There is a cheaper clone of it available on Amazon for half the price, and it has pretty good reviews, but the clone isn't available in Canada right now, so I'm still on the fence for a good key solution. So that's my Spring 2017 EDC collection. A bit of an odd list of items ranging from trendy to essentials, but hope you guys enjoyed this one. You know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.